All right, wood floors. They look nice. They require a little more care than your average floor does. First of all, uh, when you have furniture on your wood floor, it's good to put felt pads at the feet of the furniture to prevent them from uh, scratching the floor when you move them across the floor. So they come in different shapes and sizes. They you have a little sticker on the back, you stick them to the bottom the foot of the furniture, uh, like we have on these chairs and other items. Um, you can get them at most hardware stores or supermarkets or even drug stores. Um, and uh, those will help preserve your floor a little bit better. Now, when it comes to cleaning the floor, uh, when you're going to mop, first you want to sweep up the floor, clean up all the debris and things like that. And then you want to make sure you have the right kind of soap for the floor. Um, this is specific to wood floors, not other floors are as, as finicky. Um, we use Murphy oil soap, uh, which is a cheap, relatively natural, non-toxic uh, soap that's readily available, again, at most hardware stores or local grocery stores. Uh, whatever kind of soap you use, check it and make sure that it says uh, you know, that it's okay for wood floors because a lot of soaps out there, they will dry out your floor, they will damage the finish on them. All of our Razop floors are finished with just a basic polyurethane finish. Sometimes the finish, sometimes it'll specify what finishes the soap's okay for, but generally speaking, you know, Murphy's Oil Soap is, is a good one to use or anything that says it's safe for wood floors. So make sure you check that before, um, before you use it. Uh, Second thing that's really important when you're mopping any floor, but especially a wood floor, is you want to have two buckets and you want to make sure that when you mop the floor, you don't leave uh, the water standing for very long. Um, some people will just wet mop the floor and then leave it. And what that does is two things with a wood floor. One, you haven't actually removed the dirt from the floor. You've just moved it around and left it sitting there. Secondly, uh, on a wood floor in particular, leaving the standing water is gonna dry it out and damage it more and ruin the finish. You wanna dry it up as quickly as possible after you've put down that first layer of soapy water. So that's why we've got one bu bucket of clean soapy water um, to do the floor. And then we've got another bucket to where we put the mopped up water um, after, each, after each run. And that keeps our soapy water clean. So, um, so we put down our first layer of wet soapy water. Then wring out the mop in the other bucket. And now, now the sponge is nice and absorbent again. I'm going to go back and clean up the soapy water I put down. And I might do a couple passes at it each time emptying the dirty water from the floor in the other bucket. And I'm going to do that until you're not going to get it completely dry. It'll still need to air dry a little bit. But that's going to help it dry a lot faster. And then once I've done that section, I move on to the next section and continue like that. And that's how we mop the floor at the Razop.